Whether it's beef cattle or dairy cattle, all cattle need water. Richie brings you fresh water on demand. Richie, proud to be a partner to the American cattlemen since 1921. Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Richie Watering Systems. U.S. feed and forage supplies have increased over the last 12 months with ideal growing conditions across major production regions. With weather experts talking about a wetter and colder winter on the horizon, cattle producers may need all the hay they can get their hands on this fall. Fortunately, recent USDA data suggests hay supplies should be plentiful. On-farm hay stocks on May 1st were at 24.5 million tons. That is a 28% increase compared to last year, and it's the largest hay inventory to start a new crop year since 2005. Government estimates are calling for hay production to increase in 2015 by 1.6% to 142.1 million tons. That's based on a 2.4% increase in yield and a 1% reduction in acreage. Furthermore, the government estimates a 2.7% increase in roughage-consuming animal units across U.S. farms and ranches this year. Based on these estimates, Cattlefax expects the December 1 on-farm hay stocks number to be around 98 million tons. That hay inventory would be 2% larger than the 10-year average, representing the largest winter hay supply since 2010. An increase in severe weather this winter will also increase hay consumption. In other years with more winter weather activity, the U.S. livestock industry typically consumes around 80% of the December 1 available hay supplies. That would be the equivalent of around 80 million tons of hay consumed from December through April. Based on these trends, Cattlefax expects the U.S. average hay price to be around $140 per ton from December to April. The price trend will follow a typical hay price seasonal with the lowest prices in early winter and the highest prices as spring approaches. Also, continue to expect a wide variation in hay prices by region. The hay market in the West will likely remain well supported in the mid to upper 150s due to drought, while prices in the North and Central regions should find winter lows around $90 per ton. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, Cattlefax has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefax.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. Cattlefax, the deciding factor.